Nice launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone, my name is Jesse Anderson and I will be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 55th launch of the year and 254th overall mission to date. On your screen is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket on Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. At T minus four minutes and 45 seconds, the range is green and ready to support. The summer weather forecast for launch was looking a little tricky, but the weather has cleared up, so we're tracking a 90% chance of go for launch. Apart from that, the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. And in just a few seconds, we should see the clamp arms, which are just below the fairing, begin to open. And once those are fully open, the transporter erector, which is that structural, um, there's that call out, that structure next to the vehicle, that will begin to attract away from the vehicle to help clear the pad for Falcon 9 to lift off. And you can see those clamp arms there on your screen moving. And you can see that the clamp arms are now fully open so that TE is now slowly moving away from Falcon 9. Now the transporter erector is what we use to roll the vehicle out to the pad as well as route electrical connections and propellants. And it looks like the TE is now fully reclined. Now next up, we will have liquid oxygen loading completion on the first stage vehicle. And that should be coming up at the three minute mark. Stage one lock load is complete. And there's that call out. Stage one lock loading is complete. That means- Stage one pogo. That means that propellant loading is now completed on the first stage vehicle. Liquid oxygen loading is continuing on stage two and will wrap up at the T minus two minute mark. And you can see some white clouds around Falcon 9. That is the oxygen that we are venting out from inside of the tanks, which is very cold. It's meeting that warmer ambient air there and creating condensation. So that is the clouds that you're seeing there. And in just about 10 seconds or so, we should hear a call out for liquid oxygen loading completion on stage two. Stage two locked load is complete. And Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And as you can see from all the soot on the bottom of Falcon 9, the booster or the first stage vehicle that you see on your screen is flying for the ninth time today. After liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, which you can see there live okay, on your screen. As many of you already know, successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Now coming up, we should hear a call out over the nets updating us that Falcon 9 is in startup. That is coming up at the T minus one minute mark here. 
Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out. The internal flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown. Now we are just waiting for the final call from the launch director. Starlink 69, go for launch. And great news, all systems are go for launch. So let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 22 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 35 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida. 117 a.m. Eastern Time. Nominal power and telemetry. Now we are throttling down the engines in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in about 20 seconds. That is the largest amount of external stresses that the vehicle will see on ascent. Vehicle is supersonic. that call out that we just passed through that period of maximum dynamic pressure. Now we will throttle these engines back up and seeing some great views of Falcon 9 and those nine Merlin engines lit up there on your Head screen. Back. Engine chill has started. And we do have a few events coming up here back to back. That will be Miko stage separation, SES-1 as well as fairing separation. Miko is well where we will shut down all nine of those engines that you see lit up right there on your screen. And that will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Stage one will begin to make its way back down to Earth, scheduled to land on Just Read the Instructions today. And stage two will continue with SES-1, which is second stage engine start one, and we will ignite that MBAC engine on the second stage as it carries the payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. And then shortly after, we will have fairing separation. And those events are coming up here in just a few seconds. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And great views there on your screen. We just had Miko stage separation, and you can see on your right-hand screen that the MVAC engine has ignited. The grid fins on your left-hand screen, the grid fins on the first stage are currently deploying. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see on your right-hand screen, those fairing halves deployed from the second stage. They're now returning back to Earth. And the fairing halves supporting today's mission have flown on previous missions with one flying for its 10th time and the other for its 11th flight. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. Now what you're seeing on your screen, on the right-hand screen, is a view of the second stage looking at our MVAC engine. And on your left-hand screen is a view
is a view from on Earth looking at the second stage MVAC engine. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. As I mentioned previously, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 55th mission just this year and 254th mission overall. Now coming up on the first stage vehicle will be the entry burn. That's the first of two burns that will help it prepare for landing today. And you're not seeing stage one on your screen, but you are seeing a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Now, entry burn is where we will reignite three of the nine M1D engines on the first stage vehicle, and that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. After the entry burn concludes, the atmosphere will actually help scrub most of the velocity on the vehicle until we start up the landing burn. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there you can see on your left-hand screen a view of the first stage and the engines reigniting on the vehicle. This is the entry burn that lasts about 20 seconds long. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And stage two, FTS is saved. As you can see, those engines shut down on your screen. The entry burn is now complete. Again, the atmosphere will help scrub most of the velocity on the first stage vehicle, and then we will ignite just a single E9 engine in preparation for landing, which is powerful enough to slow down the vehicle to touch down on. Just read the instructions tonight. Nominal trajectory. And that landing burn is coming up here in about a minute. Shortly after the vehicle is scheduled to land, we will also have SECA 1, or second engine cutoff 1. So you may hear those callouts very closely to each other. Stage 1 transonic. Now you just heard that call out that stage one is transonic. That means that the vehicle is traveling near the speed of sound. Again, the landing burn is coming up here in about 15 seconds or so. Stage one landing burn. And there you can see on your screen that the landing burn has begun. So let's watch as Falcon 9 prepares to touch down on Just Read the Instructions. Landing lead deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. And as you just saw that, Falcon 9 has touched down Except on our drone ship. Cape. Just Read the Instructions. And back shut down. And we just had Seco one. Stage 
Nominal orbit insertion. And there's that call out for good orbit. Today's landing marks our 216th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Thank you.